Welcome to another, another edition of A Game of Day by Isaiah presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. I'm Isaiah Rhodes, and today's presentation will be Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals between the Los Angeles Clippers and Phoenix Suns. The series is 2-1, with Phoenix having a one-game lead, but the Clippers came back in Game 3 and defeated the Suns 106-92. to the, the return of Chris Paul in Game 3 was supposed to provide a jolt to Phoenix, and initially it did, but Cameron Payne uh, went out early with a sprained ankle, and it definitely changed the trajectory of the of the game, considering the fact that Cameron Payne averaged 20 points in the first two games that Chris Paul missed and nine assists. Uh, his two points definitely uh, put more pressure on Chris Paul to be more of a scorer. He went five of 19 in game three, and coupled with that with the struggles of uh, Devin Booker, who also who also struggled from the field, five of twenty-one, both combined ten for forty. If those two are struggling, then the Suns will not be able to uh, win against this Clippers team, who was who was running on all cylinders in Game Three. Twenty-seven points for Paul George, despite struggling from the field, nine of twenty-six, but he had fifteen rebounds and eight assists. Reggie Jackson had twenty-three points, and Terrence Mann, who started uh, who started in Game Three. At 12 points, 10 points in, in the third quarter, which really uh, boosted the Clippers to the next level. We start game four with the Suns having possession. DeAndre, J, DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton attacks the basket, completes a uh, layup, and gets fouled. He goes to the free throw line to complete the end one. That pick and roll set up by Chris Paul perfectly, and the Suns have a 3 nothing lead now. DeAndre Ayton, who's been known to dominate the paint area, uh, especially with Chris Paul in the game, but not only with him, but Cameron Payne as well, struggled from the floor, uh, not able to get the same uh, looks. He was not of 13, but a lot of a lot of his 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 work that we used to see in terms of attacking the paint, getting those putbacks, getting those alley oops, was not the same looks that we saw in the first two games, and, and most notably throughout this entire playoff. Suns come right back and get a basket to go up five to two. Chris Paul with the mid-range jumper from the left block. Paul George takes a three. He misses it. Paul George is en route to breaking the Los Angeles Clippers record for most consecutive 25 uh, point performances in the playoffs. Paul George, pardon me, Chris Paul trying to uh, set up a a pick and roll once again with uh, DeAndre Ayton, but he was cut off by uh, Paul George there. Five to two, Suns lead. Suns, the second seed in the Western Conference, they the overall uh, top seed in the West now that the uh, Utah Jazz are have been eliminated by the Clippers. Jay Crowder left wing three, he misses it, set up by Chris Paul. Reggie Jackson, who's in line to get a lot of money this summer. He's been uh, a, uh, a X factor for this Clippers team, especially without Kawhi Leonard, who's out with a sprained knee. He's missed the, the last six games for the for the uh, for the Clippers. Jackson misses the floater. Suns get Suns get out and running. Devin Booker is able to get an easy basket at the rim. Despite playing with a broken nose, he's playing with the mask. Uh, he's still still able to be aggressive. He said uh, he reached out to Rip Hamilton, Richard Hamilton, the uh, shooting guard who who made his name, especially with the uh, Detroit Pistons in the mid 2000s. Definitely uh, is one to provide that advice. Told him never to take it off. Get comfortable with it. Don't let it stop you. He has two points. And then the Clippers come back, miss a shot. Jay Crowder gets out on the run, knocks down a right corner three. And now Ty Lu, head coach of the Los Angeles Clippers, has to call timeout to stop the momentum. So the Suns are up 10-2. to two. They smell blood. They're looking to build on this 2-1 lead, go back to Phoenix with the 3-1 lead and have an opportunity to close out this Western Conference Finals. We'll be back with more. This is a Game of Day by Zay presented to you. I'd ask guys on your YouTube page. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to A Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. I'm Isaiah Rhodes. And today 
again, we are presenting you with the Phoenix Suns versus the Los Angeles Clippers. This is game four, where the Suns look to take a commanding 3-1 lead on the road in game four, while the Clippers are looking to tie this series at 2-2 and hold serve on their home court. Right now, the Suns lead 10-2, now 35 to go here in the first quarter. Paul George misses a mid-range jumper inside. Paul George, pardon me, Chris Paul with the rebound. Finds Mikael Bridges at the rim for the layup. On the chase down is, is uh, Paul George, but he blocks the shot while the ball is still on the cylinder. So that would be considered a goal team. So Suns up 12 to two through this first couple of minutes here in the first. The Suns shooting 71%, five of seven from the floor. The Clippers are one of six from the floor. Reggie Jackson on the left wing thought about a three, instead attacks DeAndre Aiden, misses it, but Zubak is there. Ryan Zubak is there for the rebound, kicks out to Paul George. George misses the straightaway three. Suns get out and run. Jay Crowder, right wing three, it rims out. Rebound about Paul George. George surveying the floor, looking to attack Jay Crowder. Gets it to Reggie Jackson. Zubak, dribble handoff back to Reggie Jackson. Almost has it stolen by Bridges, but it'll go off of Reggie Jackson. So the pursuit by Mikael Bridges made that uh, made that turn for Jackson around that left corner uh, difficult. So now the Suns taking over, up 10, 12 to two. Paul trying to go cross court to uh, uh, Mikael Bridges, deflected by Zubak. Clippers get the steal, get out and run. Reggie Jackson misses the three. Rebounded by DeAndre Aiden. So we see Devin Booker handling the basketball. He gets it back to Chris Paul. So Suns run offense. Dribble handoff to Devin Booker. Downhill, thought about a mid-range. Takes the mid-range. Knocks it down over Patrick Beverly. Now, Patrick Beverly has been an irritating him in this series. He's uh, re- Reestablished himself as a, uh, I wouldn't say a lockdown defender because he's more of a scrappy guy rather than a technical defender, but he's been someone that's constantly in pursuit of Devin Booker. It made it difficult for him over the last two games, but Booker's settling in. He has four points. Paul George comes right back, knocks down the three from the top of the key. So it's 14 to five. We see uh, Devin Booker again guarded by Patrick Beverly almost dribbles it off his foot two on the shot clock Devin Booker fadeaway jumper over Marcus Morris jumpers the air ball rebound about Paul George so they're going to uh, Morris on the left block guarded by Jay Crowder fadeaway jump shot by Morris he knocks it down and lets Jay Crowder know about it so those two guys three of D guys for their respective teams Chris Paul working the screen against Aiden. He gets to switch with Zubak on him. Another mid-range jump shot for Chris Paul. Unable to get it to fall. 14 to 7. Phoenix leads the Clippers, but the Clippers starting to generate some momentum. Defensively, Paul George misses another shot. Rebounded by Jay Crowder. Double teamed by the Clippers as Patrick Beverly fouls Devin Booker. A little bit too physical there. Devin, uh, pardon me, uh, Patrick Beverly, very animated about the call, the physicality for Patrick Beverly, the scrappiness is what allowed him to be uh, a vet here in this league. It's established him. But the, at times, his offensive deficiencies keep him off the floor. But here in this series, uh, he's, he's he, again, he's again reestablished himself as a necessary a piece to this Clippers run. Missed shot for the Suns. Clippers able to get out and run. Reggie Jackson caught no man's land under the rim, going up against eight and able to reset it, gets it to Patrick Beverly. Beverly with eight on the shot clock, sets up the pick and roll with Zubak, and Zubak gets the floater. So Patrick Beverly uh, able to set up Zubak for the easy finish. The Clippers now on a seven nothing run over the last two minutes and 12 seconds. Chris Paul gets into the paint, looking for Aiden. Aiden has it stripped by Morris. Possession will stay with the Suns. 
but there's six on the shot clock. So the Clippers starting to settle in defensively. They're still struggling from the field, but their defense is allowing them to get back into the game. It's a five-point game. Jay Crowder has to get a shot up. He misses it off the front rim. Rebounded by Zubak. Great pursuit there by Chris Paul to deflect the rebound. And Suns get an extra possession. Devin Booker with the reload, able to get the basket. So great effort there by Chris Paul to get that possession back off of that Jay Crowder miss. And Devin Booker is able to stop the bleeding just a bit. Suns back up seven. Paul George looking to set up Zubak under the rim. Cut off by Jay Crowder. And Zubak trying to kick it out to Reggie Jackson for Mr. Turnover. So 16 to nine. Suns lead up seven with possession. Devin Booker starting to settle in offensively here tonight with six points. That that uh that fadeaway jump shot was a beautiful one, considering the fact that he had to arc it so high to get it over the outstretched arms of Zubak. Tonight, Booker six points early, three or five from the floor. This is Devin Booker's first uh, playoff appearance in his career. This is an extended run. Uh, going to the Western Conference Finals, defeating the defending champion Los Angeles Lakers and sweeping the Denver Nuggets uh, with uh, league MVP Nikola Jokic. Both teams had injuries that they had to overcome, but the Suns will take it nevertheless and figure out how to get to this point. They've done so, and they've done so with unsung heroes like Cameron Payne, who just entered the game, knocks down a mid-range jumper, and now the Suns are up by nine, 18 to seven. Morris misses a three, chased down by Patrick Beverly. Another three-point shot, this time by Reggie Jackson, is missed. And now Devin Booker at the rim misses the layup with the left hand. Offensive rebound is there for DeAndre Ayton, and he continues to be active as a paint protector and a rim runner. DeAndre Ayton helping the Suns go up by 11, 20-9, timeout. The Los Angeles Clippers. We look at the missed shot by Devin Booker with the left hand. The pursuit on the rebound by DeAndre Aiden over Reggie Jackson and Paul George made it very difficult for the Clippers inside. Now the Suns look to, again, put a stranglehold on this series with this victory tonight. They'll go up 3-1. The Clippers are trying to tie this series at two and hold serve here at home. Stay tuned for more. This is a Game of Day by Zay presented to you. But I ask out their YouTube page. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back. As we approach four minutes to go here in the first quarter, Paul George attacks the basket and gets a layup at the rim to cut the uh, Clippers deficit to nine, 12 to 11, 20 to 11. Uh, Suns lead. Cameron Payne working the pick and roll with DeAndre Ayton. He kicks it out to Jay Crowder. Dribble handoff to to Devin Booker on the left wing, stolen by Paul George. George on the run, at the rim, looking to finish, and he's fouled by Devin Booker. He's fouled by Booker, and we see uh, we see a bump there by Devin Booker. A little bit of a push off with Paul George. George gets the technical foul. We look at the the extras at the end. You see a foul. PG gets up. A little bit of a bump there. And we see uh, Paul George turn around and push him just a bit. Nothing too crazy. But again, uh, the officials definitely want to take control of the game. Don't let anything get out of hand. Paul knew he was going to get the technical. Took the technical foul. Nothing extra. Uh, Devin Booker walked to the free throw line, made the free throw. But again, when you, uh, when you have these extended series, these, these teams don't, uh, after a while, they don't like each other. The tendencies are picked up. It's definitely more physical. It's about who wants it more because it's going to be all about execution. You know what I'm going to do. I know what you're going to do. Who can execute the best to finish? Now, this particular matchup has some history going back to last year's bubble where the Suns, although they missed the playoff, went 8-0 in their final eight games in the bubbles in pursuit of a playoff spot. Um, one of those games that they won was a buzzer beater uh, by Devin Booker against this Clippers team. And although the Suns did not make the playoffs, that really set the tone and set the table for the season that we see 
today. The Suns this year acquired Chris Paul. They're second in the West, the second best record overall in the league. Um, and we saw some theatrics between the Clippers and the Suns, and especially between Chris Paul, Paul George, and Devin Booker. Uh, both went back and forth. The Clippers won the game. Paul George had an exceptional game, but you can see uh, some words being exchanged between Booker and George, and obviously those two being premier perimeter players, they're going to match up with each other uh, defensively and offensively. So um, there's always going to be, there's going to be some history there that will be settled here in this series. DeAndre Ayton fouled on the pick and roll, uh, going to the rim, so he makes both free throws game tied at. Pardon me, uh, Suns up 10, 23 to 13. 325 to go here in the first. Cameron Johnson in the game. Johnson's been very, very solid in the series as well. Knocking down the outside shot, playing defense. Nicholas Batum has also been solid for the Clippers on this entire playoff run as a 3 and D guy and very versatile as a facilitator. He knocks down the corner three for the Clippers to cut the deficit to seven. 23 to 16, Suns lead, and we can see uh, Terrence Mann and Cameron Payne getting to it just a bit. Terrence Mann fouls Cameron Payne. And we see technical fouls called against Cameron Payne right now. So, uh, again, the referees right now trying to take control of this game, utilizing the technical foul just to keep uh, players in line. We see the foul by uh, Terrence Mann. And as he fouled man, man uh, utilized the the opportunity to get some extra hits in on Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne took exception to the extra hits and probably used some words the referees didn't want to hear. So Paul George goes to the free throw line and makes his free throw. So right now, uh, Devin Booker Devin Booker has a technical no Paul George has a technical foul. Devin Booker made his free throw. And now Cameron Payne has a technical foul. His technical foul came from talking to the bench after the fouls were exchanged. You see uh, him and uh, DeMarcus Cousins getting into it just a bit. Just a little conversation. Suns come back, though, and get a basket this time as uh, DeAndre Aiden tries to get a floater inside, but it was blocked by, um, by Nicholas Batum. Batum caught it as the ball was going down into the cylinder. So eight-point game, Suns lead 25 to 17. Paul George drives and kicks it to Nicholas Batum. He rotates the basketball to Terrence Mann at the top of the key. Mann knocks down the three with no hesitation. Terrence Mann out of Florida State, second-year guard, very versatile. He's utilized as a, a all-around player. Sometimes he's asked to be a facilitator. Sometimes he's asked to be a defender. Uh, he steps into his role with confidence at all times, and he had a breakout game against the Utah Jazz with 39 points that really sealed the deal for the Clippers in their comeback. They were down about 25 points in the first half and ended up uh, stealing that game at home. Suns up 5, 25 to 20. Two minutes to go. Devin Booker with the mismatch. Ryan Zubak on him. He kicks it to Cameron Payne. Payne with the floater as the shot clock expired. He misses it. But who's there for the putback? DeAndre Ayton, once again, at the rim, finding easy opportunities. He has nine points right now with three field goals made, three or four from the field. Luke Kennard shooting a three from the left corner, set up by Paul George, it rims out. So Suns dodge a bullet, 27 to 20. Devin Booker, mid-range jumper over Zubak. Falls off the back rim, another rebound for Paul George. Paul George has been crashing the boards here in this series, most notably over the last uh, six games, especially with Kawhi Leonard out. Paul George, guarded by Cameron Johnson, trying to get a shot off, takes the mid-range shot, falls off the back rim, fighting for that rebound is Zubak. He taps it out to Paul George. George steps back for three. He misses it, but another tip out, this time by Terrence Mann, gets to Luke, gets to Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard misses the three. So under a minute to go here in the first, Suns up seven. Three-point shooting for the Clippers, three of 13. Suns are one of four. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Another switch set up by Devin Booker has Zoo back on him. Seven on the shot clock. Moving downhill is Booker. Left-hand layup, good. 
So sun's up 9, 29 to 20. 30 seconds to go. We see Batum at the rim. He misses a layup. Another offensive rebound for Zubak. Looking for a teammate. Finds Tamron's man in the right corner. Working his way to the baseline is man who was fouled by DeAndre Ayton. We look at the Devin Booker replay moving downhill, right to left crossover. That left hand floater over the outstretched arm of not only Zubak, but Nicholas Batum on the help. Great anticipation there by Devin Booker to see the the, the, uh, the late double team coming and able to get that shot up. So Devin Booker, 4 of 8 from the floor in the first 12 minutes, has nine points. 22 seconds to go. Clippers possession. Nine second differential between shot clock and game clock. Paul George takes another three. He misses it. Tipped out once again by Zubak. Luke Kennard gets it to Paul George. The shot clock is off. Luke Kennard takes a three. Straight away three. Rims out. Rebounded by Abdul Nader. And the Suns will go into the second quarter with a nine-point lead. DeAndre Aiden getting some instruction from Chris Paul on the bench. Aiden with 11 points, 4-5 from the floor. Again, another breakout performance from the Suns team will put them in position to take a 3-1 lead in this series. The outside shooting for the Clippers has been a struggle. Paul George hasn't gotten it going for the Suns. We see breakout performances once again from Aiden. You see Devin Booker coming back into his efficient ways. And this is an opportunity, once again, for the Suns to seize control of this series. Stay tuned for more. This is a Game of Day by Zayfus interview. But as I say, YouTube page, I'm Isaiah Rose. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another edition of a Game of Day by Zayfus interview by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. I'm Isaiah Rhodes. Suns lead the Clippers 29 to 20 here in game four of the Western Conference Finals. The Suns lead the series two games to one. And with this win today, this will give the Suns the opportunity to go up 3-1. The Clippers looking to hold serve at home after winning game three on Thursday. Trying to fight back in that first quarter, they shot three of 15 from three. They're trying to settle in to this to this game. Uh, seven, of, seven of 25 from the floor in that first quarter. Uh, but they get an and one opportunity as Luke Kennard gets a basket to start the second quarter. He can't complete the end one, so that's rebounded by, by Abdul Nader getting some, uh, getting some early play, playoff time here. Saric gets it to Cameron Payne, finds Nader. Nader attacking the rim, can't finish the layup. Rebounded by uh, Kennard, who gets it to Nicholas Batum. Gets it back to Kennard. Kennard trying to probe the paint, kicks it out to Reggie Jackson. Jackson. Trying to get inside, has it deflected. Possession saved by Zubak. They work it around to Terrence Mann. Mann trying to get a floater inside. Falls off the back rim, rebounded by Chris Paul. Paul, his second game here in the series. He missed the first two due to COVID protocol. And Dario Sarvic trying to attack. That right baseline, trying to kick it out to Cameron Payne. It's deflected out of bounds with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Abdul Nader out of Ohio, out of Iowa State in his fourth season. 6'5", age 27. He started his career with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Had some extended years. They actually played with Paul George, Billy Donovan, and Russell Westbrook. Cameron Payne misses they left. Handed layup at the rim. Clippers trying to get some easy opportunities. Luke Kennard drawing and kicking to Nicholas Batum. He misses another three. But the offensive rebound is there for the, for the Clippers. One area that the Clippers are excelling at tonight is the offensive glass. While they're not shooting well, they're getting multiple opportunities at the rim, which, which is allowing them to stay in the game. Uh, the three-point shooting tonight, three of 16 for the Clippers. But, again, the offensive glass is allowing them to reload and get extra possessions. Reggie Jackson pays dividends with a layup at the rim. So it's 29 to 24. Chris Paul is fouled going around a screen from Dario Sarge. Terrence Mann can miss that foul. So it's 29 to 24. Sun's possession. 
right now for the Clippers is the second unit is on the floor with Reggie Jackson. So you got Luke Kennard, Terrence Mann, Zubak, Reggie Jackson, and Nicholas Batum. Chris Paul's on the floor, shoots a mid-range jumper, unable to get it to fall, but Cameron Johnson is there for the putback. So Suns back up 7, 31 to 24. Terrence Mann guarded by Nader, cut off by Dario Saric. Terrence Mann with the basketball left corner, cut off by Nader. Nine on the shot clock, they go to Reggie Jackson. Jackson, one-on-one -on -one with Johnson, fadeaway jump shot, good. So Reggie Jackson's been known to knock down tough shots here for this Clippers team. He's coming into his own again, trying to line up a big a big contract payout here in this offseason. He's been an unsung hero for this Clippers team, really coming into his own and establishing himself as a third option scorer for the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. With Kawhi Leonard out, he's definitely stepped up as a second go-to guy, especially down the stretch of close games. Dario Sarge knocks down the three for the Suns, so they're up by eight, and then there's a turnover by the Clippers. So up eight, Suns have an opportunity to go up 10. Mid-range jump shot for Chris Paul, unable to get it to fall, rebounded by Zuba, rebounded by uh, Nicholas Platoon. We approach nine minutes to play here in the first half. Suns up eight, Luke Kennard going off the dribble, fouled by Nader. Look at Nader. He's actually the second Egyptian player in NBA history. Ala Adenabi is the first. Getting some extended time here. Not usually known to be in the Suns rotation, but I think uh, head coach Monty Williams, who's been an exceptional uh head coach here for the Suns in his first two seasons with the Suns and really throughout his entire career, not only with the Suns, but also with the Pelicans as well. Um, he's definitely pushing the right button so far here in his playoff run, and it has the Suns two games away from the NBA Finals, their first NBA Finals since 1993 with Charles Barkley. Devin Booker with the basketball attacking, and he'll be called for the travel as he tried to stop on a dime going, going up against uh, Marcus Morris, but shuffled his feet just a bit. So Suns up 34 to 26. You look at the replay. Initially cut off by Luke Kennard, and as the double team came with, uh, with Marcus Morris on the back end, uh, he shuffled his feet. So Suns up eight, 34 26. Clippers trying to stay in it. Terrence Mann, guarded by Mikael Bridges. Now it's guarded by Dario Shari. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Can Mann get a shot off? He kicks it over to Nicholas Batum. Left corner three, it rims out. Rebounded by Sarge. He finds Devin Booker. Chris Paul with the basketball. Looking to attack, kicks it to Bridges. In the left corner, he goes to Sarge in the post against Mann. Sarge kicks it over to Chris Paul. Finds Cameron Johnson, right corner three off the back rim. Fighting for the rebound. Terrence Mann is there in between two Phoenix Suns. And possession will stay with the Suns. Mann jumped for that rebound, battling, but it looks like possession went off of Mann. We see uh, Sharvich. Sharvich actually deflect the rebound out of Mann's hand and goes into Bridges' hand, but uh, Terrence Mann uh, deflected out of uh, Mikael Bridges' hand. So it'll be baseline out of bounds, Suns basketball, Chris Paul trying to inbound. Almost got a five-second violation there, but he gets it over to Bridges. Bridges kicks it over to Cameron Johnson in the right corner, and Johnson knocks down the three. Cameron Johnson out of North Carolina coming up big here in these playoffs. Marcus Morris misses a left wing three. Chris Paul probing, gets it to the paint, setting up the alley for DeAndre Ayton, and Ayton wasn't able to slam it home but he guides it in for the layup. Big basket for the Suns. He's looking for the foul. No call there. But again, ain't able to finish at the rim. And the Suns lead by 13. Timeout called by Teron Lou. Look at this replay. 
Another pick and roll setup. Alley oop is there for Aiden. Aiden able to guide it home with that right hand. And he was fouled by Morris. Just the slightest touch there. Pushed Aiden. But again, Aiden able to finish it despite the no call. So we'll be back with more as the Suns lead by 13, 39 to 26. Tomorrow, when the Clippers have to figure out how to recalibrate this game. Stay tuned for more as this is the game today by Zay. Presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Welcome back. We approach seven minutes to play here in the first half. Suns lead by 13. The three-point shooting for the Clippers has done them in. They're three of 19 from three. The Suns are three of seven, but they've been able to, to attack the Clippers' uh, lack of shooting and get easy baskets. While the Clippers have gotten uh, second-chance opportunities uh, and a lot of reloads for, for threes, but they just haven't been able to knock them down. Offensive foul called against Paul George as he pushes off against uh, Chris Paul. Chris Paul, one of the best defensive point guards in NBA history, uh, making that uh, that initial drive by Paul very, very difficult. Paul had to push off with his right hand just to create that separation. Got caught by the ref there. Six forty-five to go. Suns in control, up thirteen. Screen from Aiden. Chris Paul finds Devin Booker at the top of the key. Booker being chased by Patrick Beverly. Booker misses the three, falls short. Rebounded by Reggie Jackson. Jackson working the left left wing takes the screen from Zubac. Working the left baseline, blocked by Aiden, and the ball goes off of Reggie Jackson. So Aiden being an interior presence at the rim, defensively. Making it difficult for the Suns, making it difficult for the Clippers inside. Another screen set up by Aiden. Chris Paul gets inside, tries to set up a lot for Aiden. He catches it, couldn't get the shot off. He goes back out to Chris Paul. Six on the shot clock. Paul, mid range jump shot, stops on the dime. It rims out. Chris Paul, while he does have it going as a facilitator, hasn't been able to knock down shots with consistency right now. Chris, again, uh, five of 19 from the floor in game three. Tonight from the floor, he's one of four. One of four from the floor tonight. Only two points, but he has four assists and three rebounds. Five fifty to go here in the second quarter. Clippers trying to get this game closer. Mid-range jump shot for Reggie Jackson falls short. Another rebound for Aiden. Finds Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne with two points here. He exited game three early with the sprained ankle, but he's playing tonight. Cameron Payne averaging 20 points and nine assists through the first two games of the series. He sets up Jake Crowder for three. He misses that three horribly off the left side of the backboard. Paul George trying to find Morris. Morris attacks Aiden at the rim. He can't finish the layup. Again, the, the defensive presence for Aiden here in this series, making it difficult for Clippers to finish around him at the rim. Devin Booker takes a screen from eight. Looks to get inside him. Got an offensive foul as Booker called for the push off against Patrick Beverly. And Beverly makes sure he lets Devin Booker know about it. A little bit of a flop there by by Patrick Beverly, but again, you got to know how to sell it. And Patrick Beverly has made it difficult on Devin Booker here in this series. He started the started the game four of eight from the floor in that first quarter. Overall, from the field, uh, Booker now four of ten. Pardon me, four four of nine. Oh, two from three. Patrick Beverly with the basketball crossover dribble left to right against Cameron Payne finds Morris. Morris with the pump fake over Jay Crowder. Fadeaway jump shot, no good. Rebound about Booker. So Suns looking to get out. And initially they looked to get out and run, but the, the Clippers slowed him down. Devin Booker attacking. Mid-range jump shot, free throw line extended, rolls around the rim and falls in. So Suns back up 15. While the Clippers were getting stopped defensively, they weren't able to score. 
So now Booker, 5 of 10 from the floor with 11 points. Paul George looking to kick out to Terrence Mann. Mann, fadeaway jump shot. One leg fadeaway, no good. Falls short at the rim. Rebounded by Aiden. Aiden finds Cameron Payne. Surveying the floor. Skip pass over to Jay Crowder. Aiden at the top of the key takes the mid-range jump shot and can't get it to fall. But good chase down rebound by Jay Crowder. Crowder takes the screen, mid-range jump shot, and it falls short. Rebounded by Zubat. So the Clippers scoreless over the last six minutes of play. Looking to find a basket. They go to Fort George. George is corralled by the Suns. Has to take a fadeaway. Able to get it to fall. Those are the tough shots that great players make. The initial defense by the Suns, very phonetic, very scrappy. Paul George had to find a way to get that shot up. He's 3 of 11 from the floor, has 10 points, 1 of 7 from 3. Cameron Payne takes a 3, makes a 3. He shoots that 3 from the right wing. So the Suns now up 16, 44 to 28. Or George trying to get this Clippers going, attacks the basket and is fouled. So the free throw line might be an area where he can build the rhythm. Foul called against Jake Crowder. We look at uh, Cameron Payne pull up for the three in Terrence Mann's face. With five seconds left on the shot clock, tough shot as Cameron Payne's falling to the ground. Now here's the thing. Cameron Payne's left-handed. He shoots that from the right wing. Man closes out with his right hand. So initially, so essentially, you're going up right in the uh, right in the closeout hand. Man able to shoot that confidence, knocks it down. So he has five points, two or five from the floor. But again, his presence is definitely needed. Um, he missed essentially game four, game three with that sprained ankle. Uh, only played about four minutes in that game. Paul George misses the first free throw. Second free throw for George. It's good. So Suns up 15, 44 to 29. Aiden. Dribble handoff for Devin Booker, right side of the wing. Looking to set up an alley for eight. It almost rims in. And we got a foul against... Is that Booker or eight? You got to check that out. Um, we got a stoppage in play. Again, this is game four of the Western Conference Finals between the Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Clippers. The Suns lead the series two games to one. They're going to take a commanding 3-1 lead over this Clippers team here at home. The Clippers are trying to come back and hold to serve at home and tie the series at two for the swing game in game five. We'll be back with more. This is a Game of Day by Z. Presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. 2.49 to go. Suns lead by 15. 44 to 29. Welcome back to a Game of Day by Z. Presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. That last foul for the Suns was against Devin Booker. He has uh, three personal fouls, so he has to go to the bench. And here in the first half with 2.25 to go, the... the uh, the Clippers come back and make two free throws to make it 44-31. DeAndre Ayton comes right back with the mid-range jumper from the right corner. And the Suns back up by 15, 46-31. The Clippers have 16 missed three-point field goals here in this first half, the most that they've had in the postseason period. So they already have uh, reached their – Reached their limit in terms of missed threes already here in the first half. They're three of 20 now with another miss. So 17 missed three point field goals here in the first half. Three of 20. Cameron Payne, as the as the uh, shot clock was about to hit zero, has to take a three from the top of the key. He misses it. So it's 46 31. Suns lead. Paul George sets up. Zubak at the rim. Zubak able to get the finish. 46 to 33, good setup there by Paul George. We approach one minute to go here in the first quarter. Chris Paul gets the screen from eight, mid-range jumper. Zubak couldn't close out in time. It's good. So 48-33, Suns lead. Reggie Jackson with the basketball. Cut off by Bridges. Under a minute to go here in the first half. 
10 on the shot clock. Alley oop set up for Zubac, goes off the backboard. Zubac missed time to jump. So another turnover for the Clippers. We look at the scoring for the Suns. Aiden with 15 points. Devin Booker, despite his three fouls, has 11. 10 on the shot clock. Chris Paul with the basketball. 40 seconds left in the half. Chris Paul looking to set up Aiden. Turnover. Terrence Mann gets to steal. Looking to push. Finds Patrick Beverly. Beverly thought about a three. Attacks the basket. Kicks out to Reggie Jackson. Left wing three for Jackson. Good. That was the big time three that the Clippers needed. Cut the deficit to 12, so it's 48 to 36. There's about a two-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Chris Paul with the basketball in control. He spreads the floor. Patrick Beverly's guarding. DeAndre Aid takes the screen. Paul gets it inside to Bridges. Bridges at the rim, finishes the layup. Good off-ball movement there from Mikhail Bridges. Three on the shot clock. Can he get a shot up? Reggie Jackson does get the shot up. It falls off the back rim. And we go to halftime with Phoenix leading by 14, 50 to 36. Big time first half for DeAndre Aiden with 15 points. We look at how the Suns have been able to take this lead. They haven't shot well from the floor, but they've been able to force turnovers. And the Suns have been able to be efficient at the rim. Their points in the paint right now, 28 to 16. Uh, they leave, they leave by 14. They have a 12-point advantage in the paint. Suns shooting 46% from the floor. The Clippers shooting 29% from the floor. 4 of 22 from three. That's 18%. We look at the rebounding. The offensive re, the offensive glass for the Clippers has been their same in grace right now with eight offensive rebounds. Uh, the Clippers have 22 defensive rebounds. That's how they've been able to have a two-point edge. Pardon me, two-rebound edge. 27 to 25. We look at the turnovers right now, the Clippers have seven turnovers. Uh, the Clippers, though, have been able to be saved because the Suns have been able, haven't been able to score off of those uh, turnovers. Again, the shooting for the Clippers has just been horrendous right now. They're shooting 30, 30% from the floor. Uh, Paul George tonight, he was 9 of 26 in game three. The Clippers were able to survive. Right now, he's 3 of 11 and 1 of 7 from three. Reggie Jackson is also three of 11 from the floor. He's one of five from three. If those guys can't get it going, this Clippers team is in trouble. We'll see how Tyloo adjusts in the second half. We'll be back with more. This is the Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. This is game four of the Western Conference Finals. The Suns lead 50 to 36. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back as we start this second half of the game of game four between the Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Clippers. This is game four of the Western Conference Finals. Winner will go on to face the winner of the Milwaukee Bucks and Atlanta Hawks Eastern Conference Finals. Coming out of the break, the Clippers missed another shot. They shot uh, 30% in the first half. They continued their horrid shooting. And now Devin Booker draws a foul against Patrick Beverly, attacking the basket. So he'll go to the free throw line. For two points, look at that uh, That third quarter from game three. The Clippers were able to outscore the Suns by 13, 34 to 21. The Suns shot six of 19 in that third quarter, which really swung the game. Terrence Mann had 10 of his 12 points in that third quarter. So let's see if the Suns can uh, adjust coming out of the second half break and, and, and try to uh, put a stranglehold on this game. Booker makes both free throws, 13 points now. He's 5 of 10 from the floor. Reggie Jackson, being guarded by Devin Booker, gets it to Zubac. Zubac trying to find Paul George in that left corner. Sets up Zubac. Great pass as Zubac came flashing down the lane. Great dump off to Zubac. Zubac slams it with two hands. So Zubac, 4 or 5 from the floor, has nine rebounds. A lot of his work came on the offensive glass there in that first half. 10 on the shot clock, Devin Booker guarded by Marcus Morris. Booker pulls up from three, misses it short. Fight up for the rebound, DeAndre Aiden comes away with it, and he dribbles it off his knee. So the Clippers able to get a stop defensively. Down by 14, struggling from three, 
He's trying to work that left baseline. Is ready, Jackson. Great reverse as he goes to the left. He goes up to the left baseline and finishes on the right side of the rim with the reverse. So it's a 12-point game. Clippers trying to generate some momentum. Chris Paul setting up eight and inside has it stolen. Paul George comes away with it. Great deflection by Reggie Jackson. Paul George at the rim. Can't finish the layup, but he's fouled. Zubac came in for the finish, but Paul George is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for two. And the Clippers trying to use their defense to get back into this game. Great deflection there by uh, great deflection there by Reggie Jackson against Aiden in the post. Paul George came away with the ball, worked the right sideline, and he's trying to get to the free throw line. He's three of twelve from the floor, four of five at the free throw line. Can the free throw line establish a rhythm for George? First free throw is good. Now Paul George has been able to score despite uh, bad shooting. Going back to Game Three, he was nine of twenty six, but still finished with twenty seven points. This free throw will give the uh, will cut the Suns deficit to 10. George makes both free throws, so it's 52 to 42. Suns are not out of the water just yet. They have to continue to execute and get solid shots. Chris Paul, guarded by Reggie Jackson. Jackson gets up in the space. Chris Paul takes the screen from Aiden, gets to that mid range, gets to the right block. Pulls up for the jump shot, free throw line extended. He knocks it down. So back to a 12-point game. Zubak, dribble handoff with Paul George. Top of the key. George, cut off by DeAndre Aiden, just in time for Devin Booker to pick him up. Paul George, skip pass over to Patrick Beverly. Beverly thought about a three, instead drives and finishes at the rim. So that closeout by Jay Crowder was a bit unnecessary because uh, Patrick Beverly is not a good three-point shooter. But... But uh, Patrick Beverly over, uh, pardon me, Jay Crowder overextended on the closeout. Patrick Beverly took advantage of it and got the score. Chris Paul draws a foul. So possession will stay with the Suns. If you look at this, Patrick Beverly finish at the rim. He probably could should have got an air and one there as uh, Chris Paul hit him across the body. Left didn't call the foul. But again, Possession with the Suns. We look at Patrick Beverly foul, Devin Booker. Look at the replay. Patrick Beverly looks to push uh, Devin Booker a bit, a bit extracurricular in terms of the activities off of the. Uh, off of the pin down, but it looks as if uh, Devin Booker stopped on the dime to draw that foul. So the contact from Beverly looked a lot worse than it actually was. Devin Booker draws and kicks to Chris Paul out of bound, pardon me, in the uh, right corner for three off the back rim, rebounded by DeAndre Aiden. Devin Booker has to take a three before the shot clock hits zero. He misses it. So Clippers able to get a stop. Can they cut it to inside of 10? Let's see. They go to Marcus Morris in the post, guarded by Devin Booker. Devin Booker has three personal fouls. Morris unable to finish. Aim comes down with the rebound. Chris Paul, top of the key, guarded by Morris. Takes the screen from Aiden, and another foul drawn. Say fouls on the floor, so possession will stay with the Suns. 8.38 to go here in the third quarter. This is the most important game of the series. If the Suns are able to take a three, a commanding 3-1 lead. They have an opportunity to close out this series at home in Phoenix, game five. If the Clippers can hold serve here at home, the series is tied at game, the series is tied at two, going back to game five for the swing game, which would be 3-2. Chris Paul, free throw on extended jumper on a fadeaway. He can't knock it down. Fighting for the rebound is Aiden. He couldn't come down with it, but Bridges is able to get the rebound. And Devin Booker got a straightaway line and a layup, but he missed it. Reggie Jackson coming away with it, had an opportunity at the rim and on the chase down, it will be a big time block by Mikael Bridges. So on that block, Bridges able to block Reggie Jackson, rebounded by Paul George, rebounded by Chris Paul. Paul 
again, using that stop on a dime, anticipating the defender coming into him and step right in front of Patrick Beverly. Now, that is something, again, that the that the competition committee will definitely look at, again, those unnatural acts, uh, whether it be in shooting or just trying to jump into the defender to get uh, – to rather to jump into the defender to get a uh, contact, the foul, the offensive foul was called against uh, Chris Paul, so the referee saw Chris Paul jump into him, but uh, because of the demonstrative uh, reaction from Patrick Beverly, uh, technical foul on Patrick Beverly, Devin Booker makes the free throw, Clippers unable to score on their possession, Chris Paul comes back and knocks down the jumper, so. Despite getting that offensive foul against the Suns, the Clippers give up three points. The technical foul from Devin Booker and the mid-range jumper from Chris Paul. Suns back up 13, 57 to 44. 734 to go here in the third. On the left block, Marcus Morris guarded by Devin Booker. Morris trying to draw contact from Booker. Booker stays down defensively. Morris able to get the fadeaway jumper to fall. Chris Paul. Looking to kick out to Mikael Bridges. Left wing three, no good. Rebounded by Reggie Jackson. Jackson. Guarded by Devin Booker. Jackson trying to attack Devin. Devin has three personal fouls. Reggie Jackson tried to go behind the back. Very reckless there. And it's a turnover. Tried to go behind the back. I don't know if he was going to Zubac or Paul George in that right corner. But bad turnover there by Jackson. Chris Paul, mid-range jumper. Knocks it down. So now the Suns back up by 13. Chris Paul tonight, 5 of 11 from the floor. 11 points, 5 assists. Paul George, guarded by Bridges. Jab step by George in that right corner. Kicks it out to Pat Beverly. Beverly with the floater over uh, DeAndre Ayton. Rebounded by Zubac. Zubac trying to finish strong in the post. Has it blocked by Ayton. Will they give? They'll say possession will stay with the Clippers. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. And we look at Zubac. Zubac going straight up. He goes up strong, but it's blocked by Aiden on the weak side. Big time block there by Aiden. And the Suns looking to seize control of this game. Suns up 59 46. 616 to go here in the third. Stay tuned for more as this is a game of day by Zay. And to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page, this is game four of the Western Conference Finals. Stay tuned. Welcome back. As out of that timeout, baseline extended, inbound, Reggie Jackson finds Temerce Mann, who's able to finish the basket and get an M1 opportunity. Great find from Reggie Jackson and good uh, finish there by Mann now uh, with seven points. And as he goes to the free throw line, he completes the M1. So he has eight points. We go back to game three, that 10-point uh, explosion there from man, 10 of his 12 points, but he got the Clippers going offensively there in that third. So let's see, can he provide a spark? We look at Paul George looking for Zubac under the rim. Great dump off, and Zubac goes up strong with the finish. So Clippers now... Inside 10, they're down by eight. Zubac, five of seven from the floor, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Devin Booker, mid-range jump shot. He misses it. Rebound about Paul George. So it's an eight-point game, 5.30 to go here in the third quarter. Paul George, guarded by Devin Booker. George, mid-range jump shot, knocks it down. And we have a six-point game, 59 to 53. The Clippers are doing this without their go-to guy, Kawhi Leonard, who's out with the sprained knee. He's been, down, he's been out for the last six games. The Clippers are on a 7 nothing run over the last minute. Paul George, pardon me, Chris Paul, pulls up a three. He misses the three. Rebounded by Mikael Bridges. Goes to DeAndre Ayton. They reset with Chris Paul. 10 on the shot clock. Chris Paul takes the screen from Ayton. Gets the mismatch with Zubac. Mid-range jump shot. He misses another shot. Offensive rebound by Bridges. Can't finish the layup, but who's there? DeAndre Ayton for another easy basket at the rim. He keeps that field goal percentage high. 
So 436 to go here in the third. Reggie Jackson, mid-range jump shot, free throw line extended. With the floater, it's good. So back to a six-point game. Two-possession game here in the third. There's so much time left. The Clippers can steal this game here at home despite uh, trailing for the majority of this game. Chris Paul, mid-range jump shot. Can't get it to fall. Offensive rebound, A, and he kicks out, kicks out to Mikael Bridges in the right corner. Bridges pump fakes on Reggie Jackson, gets inside for the mid-range jump shot. So back and forth we go now. Reggie Jackson trying to go off the glass, can't finish. Offensive rebound, Patrick Beverly. Terrence Mann, right corner three. He misses it off the back rim. Who skies in for the rebound? Mikael Bridges. So rebounding will be the name of the game here. Both teams not shooting their best right now, but the Suns able to maintain their lead and go basket for basket with the Clippers. Inside, Aiden trying to get a shot over a man. A little bit outside of his range, he misses it. Reggie Jackson steps up for three, knocks it down. So that's that five-point swing that could have been a 10-point lead for the Suns, turns into a five-point deficit for the Clippers. 63 to 58, 330 to go here in the third. Suns have to call a timeout as the Clippers are building momentum. Stay tuned for more. This is the Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Us Their YouTube page. Stay tuned. Suns up by five. Clippers making their run. They trail by as many as 15 here in the third. Now they're in the, in the, in the hunt to get back into this game. Down by five. You see a Cameron Payne missed shot. Good defense there by Zubak. Paul George on the run, trying to finish at the rim. He's fouled by Cameron Johnson. Johnson trying to get the jump ball called. But Paul George will go to the free throw line to try to cut into this lead some more. See George attacking. And it's, it's a hard sell, yes. Cameron Johnson did get his hand on the ball, but he's going, to, he's going across uh, Paul George's arm to get the jump ball called. So there's definitely gonna be contact there no matter what. Paul George, 15 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. Although he's fourth, 13 from the floor, he's trying to impact the game in other ways. He makes the first free throw, so now it's a four point game. Second free throw for George, no good. Rebounded by Aiden. So it's a four-point game, 63 to 59. Look at Patrick Beverly hounding Devin Booker. Devin Booker gets free. Pulls up for the jump shot, knocks it down. So it's a six-point game, 65 to 59. Clippers trying to keep the, pardon me, the Suns trying to keep the Clippers at bay. 2.39 to go here in third. Cameron Johnson guarding Reggie Jackson. Throws over left to right. Great dump off to Zubak. And Zubak is fouled by Aiden at the rim. Zubak's been going hard toward the rim. It has been uh, always challenges for Zubak uh, to be more aggressive, to be more assertive. And you see that dump off from Reggie Jackson. Great bounce pass inside. Zubak didn't go up soft. Zubak went up to dunk that over Aiden. It would force Aiden to have to foul him hard to prevent that easy basket. So Zubak will go to the free throw line. 10 points, 11 rebounds tonight. That's his third straight double-double. Five of seven from the floor. First free throw for Zubak. Good. One of the things about Zubak, he's definitely uh, a good free throw shooter, especially as a big. You want to have uh, good free throw shooters on the floor at all times. And if you have, you're able to have a seven-footer on the floor, it allows you to have a solid rebound and a solid interior presence. A Zubak isn't the best uh, defender, but he's a very solid rebounder, as we've seen tonight, especially on the glass, on the offensive glass. Zubak makes both free throws, so we're back to a four-point game, 65-61. Cameron Payne, hounded by Nicholas Batum, and he forces a turnover as Aiden tried to get it into Payne, but Payne uh, lost the ball off that inbound. Great defense by Nicholas Batum, making it difficult. And as Payne tried to go inside, uh, Aiden went outside. So it was a miscommunication there, turnover by the Suns. Paul George running his action. Uh, 
Good denial there by Devin Booker. Inbounded to Terrence Mann. 15 on the shot clock. Reggie Jackson with the basketball. Takes the screen from Zubak. Close to the left wing. Tries to go left baseline. Pulls up for the mid-range jump shot. Knocks it down. And now we have a two-point game. 65-63. We approach two minutes to go here in the third. The Suns are clinging to a two-point lead. Two minutes to go. Devin Booker. Guarded by Terrence Mann. Booker. Thought about the jump shot, takes the jump shot. He misses it short, but he's fouled by man. So that free throw line allowing Booker to uh, stay in the flow offensively. Again, this is a Clippers team that trailed by as many as 13 here in the third. The Suns were in control, but the defense stepped up for the Clippers. And they've been able to knock down shots and seize the momentum. First free throw for Booker falls short. Well, first free throw four short. We're inside two minutes to go. We see Reggie Jackson. Seven of 18 from the floor. Not shooting well, but he's picking up his scoring. Here in the third, knocked down. Huge three point shot earlier in this quarter. That's 16 points. And we're look, we look to have a, a big time fourth quarter down the stretch. Remember, if the Suns can hold serve and tie the series at two, then they go to Phoenix. Uh, hold, holding her holding serve at home and looking to win a swing game. If the Suns win this game, uh, they'll go into Phoenix with a 3-1 lead looking to close out this series at home. Booker goes one of two at the free throw line, 66-63. Tamers man with the basketball, nine seconds on the shot clock. Attacks Devin Booker at the rim, finishes the layup. So good aggressive uh, attack there from Tamers man, 66-65, 128 to go. Booker, mid-range jumper over Zubak. And he's fouled by Zubak. He thinks he blocked the shot. He wants uh, Tyloo to challenge it. As we look at the replay, let's see. It is all ball. It is all ball. But we have to look at whether they're going to call the, the lower body contact Ty Lue's looking at the replay. He doesn't want to challenge it. Booker tonight, 16 points, 6 of 15 from the floor. He makes the first free throw. He just went one of two in his uh, last appearance at the free throw line. We look at Terrence Mann with that finish attacking Devin Booker. Remember, Devin Booker has three personal fouls. So uh, he has to be very cautious about picking up that fourth before the fourth quarter. Booker goes one of two at the free throw line again. So now it's a two-point game, 67-65. We look at Reggie Jackson trying to attack and kick it to Mann. And Mann wasn't able to catch the basketball, stolen by Booker. And now Mann fouls Booker to stop the fast break. But that foul is the second foul. Under two minutes to go. Clippers in the penalty, so Devin Booker will go back to the free throw line. His previous two appearances at the free throw line, he's going one of two. Booker in this series, 25 of 27 at the free throw line. His only two misses have come tonight. He makes the first, so now it's a three-point game. 114 to go here in the third quarter. See Chris Paul coming back into the game. You can see Devin Booker make both free throws, so it's a four-point game, 69-65. Terrence Mann attacking that left baseline, isn't able to finish, blocked by Aiden. Mann looking for the foul call. We look at the setup. Mann trying to get the up fake. Aiden in full for a stay down. Got that block. Big time block by Aiden. Again, combine that interior presence. So they call the foul. Tough block there. Tough call. So man to go to the free throw line. He misses the first. What would they say? Ball doesn't lie. It'll always even out. 
Miss free throw for men is a four point game, 69 to 65. Game game five of this series will be Monday night, 9 p.m. Man misses both free throws. So we're under a minute to play, 69-65. Man misses the second free throw short. Chris Paul with the basketball. He goes to Devin Booker. Booker attacking Nicholas Batum. Goes out to Chris Paul. They look to reset. Four on the shot clock. Paul steps up for three. And it rims out. Tough miss there. That ball was halfway down. Reggie Jackson pulls up for three. And that rims out. Luke Kennard with the offensive rebound goes to Zubak. And Zubak goes up strong. He gets and he draws the foul. Two threes would have would have swung this game. Now you got a four point four point lead for the Suns. As Chris Paul's three rims out, that would have put the Suns up seven. And then you have Reggie Jackson come right back, shoot a three of his own from the left wing. He his three rims out, but the effort by Luke Kennard resets uh, another possession for the Clippers. And Zubac is there to get the opportunity for this for the Clippers. He makes the first free throw, so it's a three point game now, 69-66, 26 seconds to go. Zubac tonight, 13 points, 11 rebounds. So he's already at his series average through three quarters. So Zubac goes one of two at the free throw line. It's a three-point game. Sun's up, playing into a three-point lead. They're looking to finish this quarter with some momentum as the Clippers have looked to seize the game. Aiden trying to get it to Devin Booker, six on the shot clock. One second differential between shot clock and game clock. Devin Booker guarded by Patrick Beverly. He can't get the mid-range to fall and will go into the fourth quarter with one-tenth of a second left so far in the third. We're going to the fourth with the Suns up three, 69 to 66, but the Clippers have stormed back to make it a game. Stay tuned for the final 12 minutes. The Clippers outscored the Suns 30 to 19. The Clippers were 11 of 20 from the field. The Suns 6 of 22. Stay tuned for more as we finish this game four between the Phoenix Suns and Los Angeles Clippers. Welcome back. As we start this fourth quarter, the Suns looking to stave off a Clippers comeback. Clippers uh, outscored the Suns by 11 in that third quarter. And we go back to game three, the third quarter swung game three. And the Clippers were able to uh, solidify that game and uh Finished that game out winning by 14, 106 to 92. To start this fourth quarter, Devin Booker is able to score. And Nicholas Batum comes right back. He misses a layup, so it's a five-point game. Suns trying to swing the game back into their favor. Up by five, Devin Booker, another jump shot. He misses it. Offensive rebound by Sharvage, and Sharvage is fouled. Sharvage is fouled on that rebound. So we look at Devin Booker being hounded by Nicholas Batum. We go back to the first basket of the fourth quarter. Devin Booker attacks him, attacks that left, uh, that uh, the left side of the rim finishes with the left hand. So Devin Booker, eight on the shot clock, guarded by Batum again. Booker pulls up for three. He misses it short, rebounded by Terrence Mann. Mann gets it to George, 16 on the shot clock. Guarded by Chris Paul. Great defense by Chris Paul as he gets a deflection, but it also goes off of his foot, so that'll be a kick ball, 14 on the shot clock. You look at Monty Williams. Monty Williams having an exceptional uh, coaching season, one of the best coaches in the league in multiple stints. For multiple teams, you got the uh, New, Orleans, New Orleans Pelicans and the uh, now the Phoenix Suns in year two has them two games closer to the NBA Finals. If they finish out this game, they'll go up 3-1 in this series. Chris Paul kicks it to Mikael Bridges. They work it around to Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson can't get the basket to fall. Prior to, prior to that possession, you see 
Uh, Paul George knocked down a basket. So it's a three point game, 71 to 68. And now we have a technical foul against Devin Booker. As Paul George was attacking the basket, he was fouled. And then there was some extracurricular activities. We will look at this replay to see what it is. 10.07 to go here in the fourth. Highly contested game. You see Devin Booker commit the foul against Paul George. You see the foul. And then there's a little bump between. So there's a there's a slight bump. Slight bump between Paul and Devin. And then you saw uh, Devin pushing. Now the referee saw the saw the response from Devin. He didn't see the slight bump from Paul. So Paul will make the technical foul. It's a two-point game. The two-point game now. And uh, Paul will go to the free throw line for two. Now, Devin Booker has four personal fouls. He has the technical foul. And now we see Devin has taken off that mask. I think the mask was too uncomfortable for Devin. He hasn't been shooting well over the last, uh, the last three games. So Paul makes the first free throw. Cameron Payne comes into the comes in for Devin. You look at this slight bump from Paul. And Paul uh, definitely wanted to agitate Devin just a little bit. And Booker pushed off with that left arm, got called by the ref. So this this uh, this stoppage get a couple of substitutions coming into the game for coming back to the game for the Clippers is Zubac. Zubac's having a great game, attacking the glass, finishing strong at the rim, being very assertive. Coming back into the game for the Suns, DeAndre Ayton. So this free throw for George can tie the game. He misses it. So the Suns cling into that one point lead. Miss free throws on both ends. We'll come back to home, both teams, depending on the result. Both teams have had multiple opportunities to inch closer or build a lead, but they're just missing free throws. Great pass inside for DeAndre Aiden from Chris Paul, but uh, Aiden wasn't quite able to handle the pass. So now the Clippers have an opportunity to take the lead. What a pass from Paul, from Paul George to Zubac. And as Zubac goes up to finish, DeAndre Aiden has to foul him to prevent the easy basket. Great look ahead from Paul George over the turnover by the Suns. Early offense for the Clippers now giving them an opportunity to take the lead here in the fourth. As we look at that turnover from Aiden, the reason why he wasn't quite able to handle that pass is because as he turned to look toward the basket, Paul George came in and swiped just enough to uh, to make uh, Aiden mishandle that pass. Now, they say the foul was on the floor, so possession will stay with the Clippers nevertheless. Uh, Nicholas Batum gets a three. He misses it from the left wing and rims out. So the Suns cling into this one-point lead. We have 9.30 left to go in the fourth. Remember, the Suns up two games to one. With this victory, they'll take a 3-1 lead here in the Western Conference Finals. If the Clippers are able to win this game and hold serve here at home, they'll tie the series at two. Looking to go to Phoenix and take a 3-2 lead. Eight on the shot clock. Paul George. Pulls up for three. He misses it off the back rim. Rebounded by Cam Johnson. Finds Chris Paul. Inside nine minutes to play. Paul, mid-range jump shot. Rims out. Aiden can't get the tip in. Rebounded by Paul George. Paul George looking to push. At the rim. See, can't finish the layup. He, he was looking for a foul. So some ugly basketball being played right now. Both teams understand the next basket. Probably will draw a timeout. We got an offensive foul as Bridges got caught in no man's lane. Initially wanted to go up, but was cut off and then tried to kick it out, but was out of control. Good uh, good effort there by Nicholas Batum to step into uh, Bridges's step into Bridges' uh, sight there. So, again, the Clippers have an opportunity to take the lead. Both teams going cold offensively. Paul George, fadeaway jump shot, misses it off the back rim. Offensive in the rebound for Zubac. Clippers reset. Eight on the shot clock. Paul George with the basketball. Goes behind the back, guarded by Cameron Payne. And we have a 
deflection by pain. 3.9 on the shot clock. This is a this is an important possession for the Clippers. They're trying to take the lead. And the clip the Suns are clinging to a lead. The Clippers have stormed all the way back. They were down by 15 here in the second half. And they had to turn that corner. They outscored the Suns by 11 here in the here in the third. Uh, and they're trying to steal this game. The Suns have led for the majority of this game. 3.9 on the shot clock. Brady Jackson back into the game. Zubak, mid-range jump shot. He misses it short. Rebounded by Jay Crowder. Cameron Payne with the basketball. Takes the screen from eight. Payne, floater. Rims out. Rebounded by Batum. So, again, both teams going cold over the last couple of minutes. Reggie Jackson. Trying to get the Clippers their second field goal of this quarter. Both teams, one of eight from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Zubak at the rim. Set up by Paul George. Can't finish. He goes to uh, Batum. Batum finds Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson shoots an air ball. And we have... Will there be a foul or a 24-second violation? It'll be a 24-second violation with the Suns up one. Suns up one. One of eight from the floor. Clippers trail by one. They're one of eight from the floor. Chris Paul. The ball here to the Suns for these situations right here. Execution down the stretch of important games. His his numbers can be uh, can't truly be quantified by by being prolific. It's more about the the intangible things. Can he get execution? He tries to go to Cameron Payne down the lane. Cameron Payne is called for an offensive foul. Seven eighteen to go. Z's, Reggie Jackson step in. As uh, Cameron Payne came flying in for that floater. Great contest there by Nicholas Batum to make it difficult either way. Even if Reggie wasn't there, it was going to be a tough miss. But again, another turnover. And this is the Clippers' opportunity to take the lead. They go to Paul George. Jab step. Mid-range jump shot. Falls short. Both teams have to be fatigued right now. Because everybody's shots are falling short. We're inside seven minutes to play. Suns still up one, 71 to 70. Clippers one of 10 from the floor right now. Chris Paul splits defenders. He has the mismatch with Zubak. Mid-range jump shot, Chris Paul falls off the back rim. Rebounded by Jay Crowder. Back to Chris Paul. Paul kicks out to Jay Crowder. Three-point shot from Crowder. Rims out. Rebounded by who? Zubak. Deflection by Chris Paul. And it looks like it went off of Zubak. Possession will stay with the Suns. The effort from both sides cannot be overstated right now. Both teams understand the circumstances and urgency that comes with this game. If the Suns win, they will go up 3-1 with the opportunity to close out this series in Phoenix. If the Clippers hold serve, they can tie the series at two, going back to Phoenix, and it will be a best out of three after that. Suns up one. We'll be back. This is the Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page, Sun's Possession. Welcome back. As we come out of that uh, break, Sun's up one. Big time alley-oop set up from Chris Paul on a pick and roll for who? DeAndre Aiden. Aiden with 19 points, 20 rebounds. Great play set up out of that timeout by Monty Williams to give the Suns a much-needed basket. Three-point game, 73 to 70, and Devin Booker commits a foul. We see Reggie Jackson stop on a dime. He anticipated Devin Booker uh, in pursuit. Stops on the dime. There was contact, and Devin Devin Booker commits that foul. So now Devin Booker. 21 points tonight, but has five fouls. And not only did he commit that foul, but it looks like his head uh, took some uh, took some damage there on that foul. You got to be conscious of that nose for Devin Booker. He has a broken nose. He hadn't been playing with the mask over the last two games, but he took the mask off 
he's definitely uncomfortable with how he was shooting. We go back to that basket by DeAndre Aiden. Great play set up as uh, Chris Paul got moving down here, set up from the screen from Aiden. And he was able to slam it home and put the Suns up three for a much needed basket. Now, Reggie Jackson made both of his free throws. So it's back to a one point game, 73 72, inside of six minutes to play. Chris Paul going to Devin Booker. 10 on the shot clock. Booker guarded by Terrence Mann. Booker attacking. Can he get the basket? He cannot. Fighting for the rebound is Paul George. George trying to get the Clippers to lead for the first time in a while. Clippers have trailed for the majority of this game. Paul George in the post against Chris Paul. Off the left block. Pulls up for the jump shot. He cannot get it to fall. Paul George shooting horribly in this game, but he's not the only one. Everybody's shooting bad. Chris Paul looking to find Devin Booker. Booker, mid-range jump shot. Knocks it down. So big jump shot for the Suns. It's Devin Booker looking to get it going here in this fourth and finish out this game now with 23 points. 75 to 72. Booker, 8 of 21 from the floor. Mid-range jump shot. Reggie Jackson, he knocks it down. So, so far, every time the Clippers need a basket, they're going to, they're going to Reggie Jackson. Jackson is coming through. It's a one-point game. Suns have the lead inside of five minutes, 4.56 to go. Stay tuned for more. This is a Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Devin Booker and Reggie Jackson are going back and forth, tit for tat. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back. Inside of five minutes to play. Suns up one. Back and forth we go. The shooting here in the fourth has been horrendous on both sides. Suns just trying to stay ahead. Uh, at the end of that shot clock, Devin Booker got a fadeaway three off the right wing. He missed it horribly. So the Clippers looking to take the lead. They go to Reggie Jackson. He misses a layup. Offensive rebound for Zubak. We get a foul. So Zubak has been very aggressive here in the second half. Well, here in this entire game, to be quite honest with you, really just attacking the offensive glass, making it difficult for the Suns on leak outs. He's just trying to find ways to stay assertive in this game. He draws a foul. They say the foul's on the floor. So 14 on the shot clock. Suns still up one. 421 to go here in the fourth. Reggie Jackson. Eight on the shot clock. Guarded by Devin Booker. Booker has five personal fouls. Jackson. Out of control. Finds Paul George in that left corner. George attacks Aiden. And we got... We got a 24-second violation before the foul call. So the Clippers, while they're getting multiple opportunities to take this lead, they cannot find a way to, to, to get over that hump. Right now, 75-74, four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Suns up one. You look at the free throws, the field goals from both sides, a combined five of 28. Suns three of 15, Clippers two of 13. Chris Paul attacking Zubak at the rim. Layup is good. So big basket for Chris Paul. And Suns back up by three, 77-74. Chris Paul, six of 19 from the floor tonight, 13.7 assists. Reggie Jackson takes the screen from Zubat, pulls up for three, misses it off the back rim. Big effort there by Patrick Beverly, but couldn't tip it to Paul George. So the Suns get a stop, 324 to go, up by three, looking to take a two possession lead. Chris Paul guarded by Terrence Mann. Looks to set up the screen and roll with Aiden. Aiden sets the screen on the left side. Middle of the paint, Chris Paul. Mid-range jump shot over Zubak. Rims out. Rebounded by Paul George. Inside three minutes to play. George for three. Misses it off the back rim. Rebounded by Patrick Beverly. Out to Reggie Jackson. Working that left baseline. Cut off by Aiden. Has to get a kick out to Patrick, uh, Patrick Beverly. Back to Reggie Jackson. Five on the shot clock. Jackson trying to get it up. Get the shot up. He airballs it. Rebounded by uh, Mikael Bridges. So we're inside three minutes to play. 15 seconds on the shot clock. 2.30 to go 
here in the fourth. Can the Suns hold on? If they win, they'll go up 3-1 in this series and take a commanding lead, looking to close out the series in game five. Devin Booker attacks Zubac, draws a foul. With 1.9 on the shot clock. So not only are the Suns utilizing clock now, but they're getting points on the board with an opportunity to go up two possessions. Devin Booker looks to put the Suns up five in this series. He's only missed two free throws. His two misses have come tonight. He's seven of nine from the free throw line. Looking to looking to push the Suns over the top. Zubak can't believe the call. First free throw for Booker. Rolls in. Suns up by four. 78-74. You see Marcus Morris coming to the game for Zubac. Devin Booker tonight, 24 points, 8 of 10 at the free throw line. Despite Zubac playing exceptionally well tonight, tough foul call. Zubac, 38 minutes, 13 points, 14 rebounds. So Booker makes both free throws as we approach two minutes to play, 79-74. With the three-point line, no team is out of it right now, but the Clippers and Suns have struggled from the field here in the fourth. Paul George attacking that right baseline. Kicks it to Patrick Beverly. Left corner three. Falls short. Rebounded by Jay Crowder. And now the Suns look to put a vice grip on this game. Chris Paul in control. They call him the point guard for a reason. He knows how to execute down the stretch. Three-point shooting here in his half. The Clippers one of nine. The Suns, all of nine. Five on the shot clock. They go to Devin Booker, guarded by Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly with the deflection. Booker tries to get the shot off, and it'll be a 24-second violation and a travel. Great defense by Patrick Beverly on that deflection. Booker was ready to go up for his shot. He looked at the clock. Beverly got the deflection and forced Devin to go back and have to uh, – and have to set up for a shot much later than he wanted to. And as he went up for the shot, there was another deflection by Beverly to make that shot difficult. So Clippers give possession. They force a 24-second violation, but the Clippers are down by five. 134 to go here in the fourth. Two possession lead for the Suns. Stay tuned for more. As this is a game of day by Zay. Presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Welcome back as the Suns lead by five, 79-74. Clippers in the bonus. Suns have two timeouts. So if you're the Clippers, you want to attack, you put the Suns in uh, vulnerable positions. Marcus Morris gets the ball in the right corner, attacks and tries to find Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann has it stripped by Jay Crowder. Suns up five, 120 to go. Devin Booker with the basketball slows down, cut off by Reggie Jackson and Morris. So for the Suns, even if they don't score right now, obviously you want a basket, but they're trying to utilize their clock. They're up two possessions with the basketball. Devin Booker at the rim, draws a blocking foul on Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly tried to step in and draw that charge, and that would have fouled out Devin Booker. Let's look at the replay. You see Bev is there. Patrick Beverly's there, but he's he's kind of off balance as he's setting for that charge. Will they challenge this? Let's see if they review this. We can see, we can see Beverly's there. He's definitely there. But it looks like he's he's almost falling at the same time. Let's look at the replay. It looks like he's falling at the same time. They call the they do call the blocking foul on Beverly. They're going to review this. We'll be back with more. This is a game of day by Zay. Presented to you by the Ask Guys at YouTube page. This particular call can change the game. If this foul if this foul call is reversed and they call it on Devin Booker, he'll foul out of the game. If they maintain the call, which would be a blocking call against Patrick Beverly, Devin Booker will go to the free throw line looking to put the looking to put the Suns up by three possessions. We'll be back. We will be back with more. Suns up five. We'll be back to see what they call. Okay, so they reversed the call. It's an offensive foul called against Devin Booker. So he fouls out of the game with 25 points in 38 minutes. 
Here's the thing, though. He's been the Suns' go-to guy offensively. The Suns have a two-possession lead. They're up by five with one, two, with 104 to go here in the fourth. Can the Suns survive this next minute and four seconds? Terrence Mann able to get a basket inside. So we're inside of a minute to play, but the Clippers are trailing by three. Clippers trailing by three. Terrence Mann wanted the and one there. They didn't give it to him, but he got the basket. Great setup by Paul George to find Terrence Mann at the rim. He was definitely fouled by Bridges. There should have been a foul call. He was definitely fouled by Bridges. Uh, at least Mann did finish the, finish the layup, but he should, it should have been an and one call there. Should have been an and one call. It's 79-76, time I call by the Suns. Can they hold on without their go-to guy, Devin Booker? Stay tuned for more. This is the Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back. As the Suns have possessions, 53 seconds left. It's a one-possession game, 79-76. But Devin Booker has fouled out. <laughs> Excuse me. Devin Booker's fouled out. Can the Suns hold on? Chris Paul with the basketball. Cameron Payne is into the game. And we see Paul George foul Chris Paul. He fouls Chris Paul. Can't believe the call. We got to look at the replay. We see Paul George trying to put pressure on Chris Paul. And he goes over Chris Paul's body to get the steal. They say too much contact there. He can't believe the call. But possession will stay. With the Suns, that was the, that was the Clippers' only foul to give. Six on the shot clock. Chris Paul, mid-range jump shot over Nicholas Batum. Misses it off the back rim. Who's there for the rebound? DeAndre Ayton. Big rebound for the Suns. The Clippers don't have to foul. Seven on the shot clock. Chris Paul, once again, goes at Reggie Jackson. Mid-range jump shot. Chris Paul misses it short. Who's there for the rebound? It'll be a jump ball. And they can't decide whose possession it will be. 17.4 left. And you can see the referee saying they have no idea whose possession it will be. 17.4 seconds left. If you look at uh, Paul George tip it out. But then you see Mikael Bridges tip it out too. So whose possession is this? All right, so they're reviewing this. They're reviewing this in real time. Let's see. If I would, I think, I think the ref made the right. Well, I believe that they made the right decision just on giving it a drum ball, because it's really hard to see who this ball went off of. It looks like it's Bridges. It looks like it's George. It looks like it's Aiden. It's a, it's a melting pot of all three, to be quite honest with you. The trajectory of the ball does look like Paul George. Paul George left hand. But then inside of Paul George's left hand, you can see Aiden's right hand. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. 17.4 seconds left. Sun's up three. If the Suns win this game, not only will they take a 3-1 lead, but they'll have an opportunity to close out this series. They'll have an opportunity to close out this series at home. If the Suns fall, fall to the Clippers here tonight, the Clippers will tie the series at two and have an opportunity to win the swing game on the road, take a 3-2 lead in, uh, in Phoenix. It's really hard to see whose possession it is right now, to be quite honest with you. Uh, they add three tenths of a second on. Okay, so they revert. They they overturn the call. It won't be a jump ball. It'll be 
Clippers basketball with 17.7 to go. 17.7 to go. Clippers have an opportunity to tie the game or will they extend the game, go for a two, and then play the foul game. Right now, they have to, they have to inbound a full court, go to full 94 feet. Paul George at the point of attack on the inbound guarded by uh, Mikael Bridges. Inbounding would be Nicholas Batum. So Batum goes to George. Bridges preparing for the downhill the downhill drive. We got a foul to give. Bridges fouls Paul George. No, actually, Paul George will go to the free throw line for two. So he has to make both free throws. Bridges goes across uh, Paul George's body to get that uh to get that still. He got all ball, but he did uh, make contact with the body up top. So, Paul George first free throw tonight. Uh, rolls around the rim and falls in. He's 10 of 13 tonight in this series. He's shooting at 72% from the free throw line. We can go back to game two where the Clippers were up one with the opportunity to go up three. Paul George missed both free throws, and that turned into a DeAndre A and alley oop from uh, Jay Crowder set up out of bounds with .9 left. And that solidified the game for the Suns to give them a 2-0 lead. So these free throws definitely under pressure. Paul George steps up and makes both. It's 79-78. 13.2 left to go here in the fourth. We'll be back with more. This is the Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Stay tuned for more. So the Suns inbound. Uh, Jay Crowder inbounds to Dario Sarge. Dario Sarge has it deflected by Nicholas Batum, who saves it. Cameron Payne saves it, and then he deflects it out of bounds. We look at the replay. Jay Crowder is able to uh, inbound to Sharit. Sharit wasn't assertive with the basketball. It almost turned into a disaster, but Cameron Payne saves it, has it deflected by Nicholas Batum, and now Chris Paul is fouled by Paul George with seven seconds left. So Chris Paul will go to the free throw line with the Suns up one. The Suns are up one. If Chris Paul makes both free throws, the Suns will go up three. We look at this replay, and Nicholas Platoon definitely deflected out of bounds. But we have to look at Cameron Payne to see if the ball went off of Cameron Payne at the end there. They say the ball went off of Platoon. So Chris Paul goes to the free throw line. First free throw. Good. He's made 34 consecutive free throws here in the playoffs. 34 consecutive free throws. These free throws are huge right now. Sun's up two. Clippers have one timeout to go. The Phoenix has no timeouts. Phoenix has no timeouts. So Zubac comes in uh, for potential rebound, and you also have Morris coming in as well. Seven seconds left. First Paul was brought to the Suns for these moments right here. Second free throw, good. So the Suns up three with seven seconds to go. Clippers call a timeout. We'll be back with more. This is a game of day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to a game of day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. We're in game four of the Western Conference Finals. Suns up three. Suns up three. And we get a foul for Bridges against Paul George. So Paul George will go to the free throw line to make two. So the Suns playing the game. They're up three. You foul right away so that even if you get the two free throws, you still have that one-point lead. Paul George, 22 points tonight, 11 of 14. First free throw rims out. First free throw rims out. Tough miss there for George. 6.3. So now... Uh, with no more timeouts, Paul has to miss the free throw. Paul would have to miss the free throw, get the rebound, and try to go for the and try to go for the three. That first free throw rimmed out. Tough miss there. George missed uh he's missed uh four free throws tonight. Eleven of fifteen. We look at the second free throw. It's always tough to plan this the second miss. He misses it. Fighting for the rebound, we got a loose ball foul. 
That personal foul will go against Sarich as Cousins was there trying to get that rebound. So now if you're the Clippers, this bodes well in your favor in this respect. If Cousins makes both free throws, you can still play the foul game with 5.8 to go. So Paul George did this perfectly. Cousins is there for the rebound and Sarvich missed the foul. So first free throw for Cousins, good. So now Cousins can make both. He can make both and the Clippers can play the foul game again. Let's see if Cousins can make this free throw. In this series, he's five of six at the free throw line. This is his first point tonight. He's coming up big when it matters most. Let's see, can he make this second free throw? He misses the second, but doesn't hit the rim. So that's a violation. So that'll be a violation. Suns get possession. Uh, as we look at, it's, like I said, it's very hard to plan the missed free throw. To you have to make, you have to hit the rim. If you don't hit the rim, then that'll be a violation. So possession goes back to the Suns, up by two, 5.8 to go. Can they get the inbound? They do get the inbound. Chris Paul able to dribble just enough for the uh, Suns to get time taken off. Takes off about two seconds, 3.9 to go. Suns up by two with an opportunity to take a two possession lead. Let's see what happens. The Clippers are calling for a travel. You see Chris Paul, he's fouled by Patrick Beverly. He's fouled by Patrick Beverly before uh, he actually falls. Nicholas Platoon is calling for the travel. But the foul actually happened with Patrick Beverly first. He poked Chris Paul in the eye. So Paul's made 35 consecutive free throws. Second free throw is good. Now 36. Tonight he's four for four from the free throw line. So with the second free throw, that'll ice the game. And the Clippers will go down three games to one. Suns might have an opportunity to close out game five in Phoenix and push to the NBA Finals. Let's see what happens. Second free throw. Rims out. Paul George is fouled. So Chris Paul had an opportunity to ice the game there. It rims out. So Paul George will go back to the free throw line. It's a three-point game. 82 to 79. 3.2 to go. Paul George is 11 of 16 from the free throw line tonight. 22 points. In this series, he's shooting 76% at the line. First free throw for George. Good. So big free throw made. And now, how do you play this if you're Ty Lue? Do you, do you tell Paul to miss it? You try to tie it? Or does he make the free throw? You play the foul game again. If you play the foul game again, as soon as you inbound, you're going to lose time. So more than likely, he has to try to play for the miss. You have DeMarcus Cousins in the game, also Zubac. So they're playing for that rebound. Let's see what happens. Here's the second free throw. George, he misses it on purpose. And Dario Saric is there for the tip out. He tips it out to Chris Paul. Chris Paul runs out of his right shoe. But you got Chris Paul with an opportunity again to ice this game. 1.3 seconds to go. We look at the second free throw. Paul George missed it perfectly and rimmed out. But the Clippers weren't able to get that. They weren't able to get that rebound. We look at Chris Paul. Chris Paul is fouled by uh, Paul George on the run out. We look at Devin Booker. Devin Booker, although he's he's been out for the for the final minute of this game, he fouled out on the offensive foul by Patrick Beverly. Paul George, Paul George fouls out of the game. 1.3 seconds to go. 1.3. If Chris Paul makes these free throws, that will ice this game. It's a, a three-point game, 83-80. Paul tonight, although he's shooting horribly from the field, has 17 points, second free throw. 
he makes it. So it's 84 to 80. That will do it. So we'll go to Phoenix with the Suns one game away from the NBA Finals. They take a commanding three games to one lead over the Los Angeles Clippers. This was a hard four game on both sides. The Suns were up by 15 in the second half. Yet the Clippers stormed back. They outscored the Suns by 11 in that third, 30 to 19. And not only did they do so, they had to do so despite struggling from the field shooting. When we look at both teams shooting overall, I mean, this this goes back to the 90s. This is literally a 90 score, 84 to 80 in four quarters. You get uh, 36% shooting from the Suns, 33% shooting from the Clippers. Four for 20 from three are the Suns. Five for 31 from three are the Clippers. The 18 of 21 from the free throw line for the Suns was the deciding factor considering the fact that the Clippers shot 21 of 20, 21 of 32 from the free throw line. The Clippers 86% from the free throw line. Pardon me, the Suns 86% from the free throw line. The Clippers 65% from the free throw line. We look at the points in the paint. The Suns got 42 points in the paint while the Clippers got 36 points in the paint. Also, um, the Suns led for the entire game. They were up by 16. Their largest lead of the game was 16, but the Clippers could not get over that hump. Uh, turnover with turnovers. Suns only had, Suns had 14 turnovers. The Clippers had 10 turnovers. Uh, the Clippers got 13 points off of 14 Suns turnovers, but the Suns got 15 points off of 12 Clippers turnovers, and we have a four-point victory for the Suns again with an opportunity to close out this series in Phoenix on Monday. Now, when we look at the shooting, Chris Paul tonight, 6 of 22. Devin Booker tonight, 8 of 22. Chris Paul in game three shot 5 of 19. In game four, 6 of 22. So that's, that is 11 of 41. He's 11 of 41 in two games, yet the Suns still were able to overcome not only his bad shooting, but Devin Booker's bad shooting, and Devin Booker fouled out with just over a minute to go. Nevertheless, the defensive prowess of the Suns was able to pull through. The Clippers weren't able to come up with the big shots necessary to get over that hump. There were multiple opportunities in that fourth quarter where it was a stalemate. Both teams just, just trying everything they can, but again, both teams went cold and down the stretch, the Suns were able to make their free throws compared to the Clippers. So we'll go to Phoenix for game five. Phoenix is up three games to one with the opportunity to get to the, their first NBA finals since 1992, 1993, when they were led by Charles Barkley. Stay tuned for more as this is a Game of Day by Zay presented to you by the Ask Isaiah YouTube page. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Peace.